setting up the Starlink Mini, first of all, you're supposed to try to aim this thing northeast, which is just about there. I actually have a compass, so I was able to use a compass to sort of figure that out, but that's the northeast. So I'm gonna point this in that direction. And then this is my battery pack. So this is the goal zero. And I have a couple options here for power cables. So one option would be to just plug it in using the wire that's included to the AC port. And there is a AC adapter. So I have this AC adapter. And what I would do is turn this on. So you have to actually hit AC right here. And that little, there's a little light in the right hand corner. It's really small, but there's a little tiny light that will light up. That means that the AC is on. So the inverter is on there. And then I'll just plug this cable directly into the bottom of the Starlink right there. This is a watertight cable. So if you wanted to run this on the outside of your van or whatever, it'll work. And that's it. There's no turning it on or anything like that. It just, once it's plugged in and powered on, it'll power up that way. Uh, the way that we have the, these set up with the satellite phone store is it is set up and ready to go. You don't need to use the Starlink app. All you need to know is right here on the panel itself, it has the name of your Wi-Fi, and then it also has the Wi-Fi password written down here and you just log in on your iPhone, your Android, your computer, how you would any other Wi-Fi signal or router and simple as that. So a couple little other things I wanna point out that we have with this setup kit is we also, instead of using this big long cable and all that, we're selling an option that has this very small streamlined cable and this uses USB-C and this is the plug that goes into the Starlink. So the only downside to this is this is not waterproof. So just that's something to keep in mind. But if you're doing something like this, where you're going out camping, then you can easily just take this cable and then you can plug it into, I put it in the 100 watt. There's a 80 and 100 watt. I put it in the 100 watt and you should be able to see on here that it's drawing the power right through there. So now we've streamlined this process and it's powering the Starlink now. And one other thing I wanna point out is that we have the solar panel as part of one of our bundles. And to get that to work, you just plug that in the back and you obviously wanna keep the solar panel as level with the sun as you possibly can so that that way it's getting as much power as you can. My suggestion is if you guys are out camping and maybe like riding a motorcycle or hiking during the daytime, you just leave this plugged into the solar panel and obviously unplug the Starlink. And then during the daytime, you can recharge your goal zero. And then at the end of the day, when you wanna use Starlink or whatever, you can plug that in and have a pretty much fully charged battery. With a fully charged battery, you got about two hours. So on the back here, it's really important to realize that there are three switches. These are for the USB-C uh, output and input. And the three different settings are output, auto, and input. I have it auto on both of these, which just means that it's allowing it to either be powered in or power is going out. And it automatically is registering whether that's the case. If you wanna make sure that it is only being like, let's say input, so it's only getting charged, then you could switch these over. So that's just a really important thing to kind of keep in mind. And this screen is, you, you really, it's a very dim screen. It doesn't want to, it doesn't use a lot of power. So, um, you know, you really have to kind of look at this by shading it, especially in the daylight. And if you want to use these little regular USB slots, you do need to hit this USB button and that will have the power come out from that. So just a couple of things on the setup and that's the Starlink Mini.